Thank you for doing this. Nice to see you again. Yeah, and nice to see you. Likewise. It's it's funny. Every time I do a conversation for Anora, when I'm sitting here, I'm literally looking at where the movie takes place. Like my I I live where it takes place. My window is looking like there's a building in the way, but to the right is where Sean and everyone lived when they were shooting. And like wow. that means that if you took that building away, I'd be looking at the apartment that they say you and your grandma live in in the movie. Yeah, wow. So when you, you know, so watching the movie, it is a strange experience, but I think it's one of the reasons why it's my favorite movie of the year is just how rare do you get to see a movie take place literally where you walk your dog every day. So it's very, it's very cool for me. And I imagine when you, when you read the script, it just reads like, I, I want to be a part of this, no matter what they're asking me to do, let alone, wait, this is kind of the secret weapon character. What secret? Yeah. Like, I mean, I think. Nobody goes into the movie expecting to care about your character, right? Because all you've ever heard about is their relationship, right? And then, and then the goons come. But the idea of by the end of this, you know, aside from Mikey and Honora, I think you're the character everyone cares about the most. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it was growing up from from somewhere uh, because we was changing every time our script. I mean. Uh, not only dialects, uh, somewhere, uh, some, uh, a lot of, uh, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. You gotta just be ready for whatever Sean feels like doing that day in a way. But I think it, it, it speaks to, I think knowing the character, like having an idea of who you're playing and, and knowing who this guy is to be able to roll with the punches like that. It would be, I think if you didn't know who he was, you would have a hard time doing that. Cause you, you know, it's not on the page. What do I do? But I think yeah. it's very easy when you know the character. And I think knowing like who he is and, and who he actually is, as opposed to how people see him, lets you do that. And I think that leads to so many nice little moments that I'm sure weren't there at the first, you know, on day one that you guys decided on when it was, it felt right to have him say this or have him do this. The idea of keeping, trying to keep her warm the whole movie is just such a, a nice thing that you don't expect from that character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. Uh, you know it's uh, what uh, my 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 goal was uh uh i was trying to do some person which uh everybody could uh, recognize some friend in this right. person or uh, brother or uh, yourself for example and uh it's but not concretely i mean uh i don't want to uh give a lot of uh concrete Thinks uh, concretely thinks about this guy uh, for everybody could uh, have connect with him. Yeah, if we're talking about this, yes, and uh, if we're talking about uh, the script, I don't know. It's uh, uh, it was growing from our uh, relationship between uh, Mikey and me and Sean and. Uh, all our team and uh that's why uh as i hope uh, you can feel this uh, what do you what are you gonna feel i don't know yeah. warm like you say oh yeah. yeah and it's unexpected warmth i think is what makes it work so well i think if you if this was always just oh there's another nice character in the movie right and and you know and you sort of identify as like oh well, that's a safe person it doesn't work the same way as for two hours, every, you know, almost two hours, because you're not in the first bit, but every time he does something, you you kind of go, that's not what I would have expected a person who looks like that to say, or a person who has that job. Just every little bit, you because you don't you don't ever make it, you know, feel like a movie change. It just feels like a little bit of, oh, this is actually who this character is. Here's a little bit more of who this character is. And by the end, you do, you actually are. It, it's it's such an interesting thing that the movie does spend its last couple of scenes with just you and Mikey. Like you two have become the focus of the movie in a way I don't think anyone going in would expect. And you are invested in what what happens to him. You know, he, he what what he had he had a tough day too. Like what's his next day going to be like? It is it's such a surprise. I think one of the things people like most about the movie. So I'd imagine getting to explore that is is a lot of fun and leads to really cool moments just trying stuff out and seeing what works.
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, like what is there is there a moment that really stuck out to you as like, oh, this is this is I know I'm making something special because you never know until you start. It could be could be anything. Yeah, yeah. It was very, very interesting, you know, because uh, nobody knows uh, where mm -hmm. are we going. But no, of course, we know our, where are we going. We have script, we have uh, plan. But at the same time, it's uh, every day something new and we're changing everything and uh, nobody knows uh, how, how it will work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How do you, so the one thing I, I, was, I was thinking about when I was thinking about the movie... I'm going to watch again this weekend just because I love it. But having to be sort of physical, but also gentle. Yeah. is hard because, you know, you, you know, like my, my dog is a big dog, but he's a big mush. He doesn't know that he's a big animal, right? Dogs, animals don't know they're big. They don't think that way. People kind of understand, like, I'm a big person. So, like, how do you, how do you, because I think the interesting thing about your character is he has to handle her, right? He has to be physical, but you never feel like he's being particularly violent. How do you, how do you make sure that that is sort of like a, it's not like a teddy bear, but it feels like, oh, this person is like hesitating before he touches. It, it feels like is asking permission is how do you, how do you make sure you feel physical, but also not dangerous? It's, it's such a unique thing. I don't think I've ever seen someone do it before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know how I just uh, I just try and uh, uh, to catch Mikey, yeah. Because uh, uh, sometimes it was not easy because yeah. Sandor is crazy and Mikey was crazy too in these scenes, and I just try to uh, don't hurt her and uh, but at the same time catch her, and uh, it was uh, very uh, realty, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know uh, how does it work, uh, but uh, you say that it's like a bear. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's interesting. I never, never think about this. Uh, this one. Yeah, I mean, and what is it like watching it? Because I mean, it's one thing to make it right, and you, you, you hope it's going well. You probably have a feel. You have a pretty good feeling. You're watching Mikey going. Oh, she's she's really good at this, and you know, you probably have seen Sean's work, so you have an idea, but you don't know until people see it what is it like when you actually watch it and see because whenever a movie is made it's made in a messy style you have you really have no idea what you're doing until it gets put together what especially for something like this when it's put together what's that experience like of of just seeing it and seeing a character arc and seeing where you guys end up it's what is that experience like you mean seeing all our film or do yeah. this i mean scene? you're See, seeing your performance, seeing the film itself, seeing it all come together and then having people tell you how good it is. Like, what is that experience like? Because you don't know when you start. You're just hoping it's it's a good job. Yeah, you know, it's very magic experience. Uh, this, uh, uh, this silence between uh, when people uh, just came to you to say some uh, thanking for, for the film and they say, hi, uh, I've seen Anora. Yeah. And some silence for finding words. And yeah. I already feel everything in this silence. And uh, it's very magical. And uh, that a lot of energy coming back uh, from people. And uh, absolutely, uh, I've no idea yeah. why uh, yeah. yeah but that's very very interesting oh yeah and it's and it's the start of a conversation too because it's you know other movies will come and, and go but i mean people will talk to you about this movie for a long time and also now you know people are gonna you're gonna start getting offers to be in movies that you know oh they saw me in this movie now they want to work with me and that's going to lead into a whole other thing so i imagine it's also just a really interesting point in your life of just kind of this is the calm before the storm like i people are people are coming up and telling me they like me in this movie i have to do interviews about it people are talking about awards and i have to go to an award show I, like it's all good things but it all is i imagine new and different and is just an experience so hopefully it's an experience that you get to enjoy because it, it is honestly nice when people want to say nice things about you it's never it's never a bad thing uh 
yeah, it's very, very interesting. And I'm happy that it's, uh, first of all, that it's worked for a film because uh, Sean uh, deserve it, Mikey deserve it. And uh, I'm happy that film is work. Right. Uh, yes. And uh, what, what about me? Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, it's interesting part of life. Uh, I hope to meet uh, uh, interesting artists and uh, work with them. I mean, directors and actors and producers. And uh, that's uh, the only one reason. Of course, it's uh, very uh, interesting to listening uh, all this uh, stuff about uh, that it's good film and uh, good yeah. role. But I know that uh, it's only kind of one step of uh, my life and uh, I see next steps and I want to go forward. Uh, I mean, I know and I see a lot of mistakes in my work and uh, I want to do it again and again and uh, better and better. And uh, um, that's why I just want to meet some interesting people and uh do next movie again and uh yeah but i'm happy that it's happening here oh no i'm i'm pretty confident that there will be more movies and more people who want to work with you so this this is just the first step so you should you should be very excited about it and it's not the last time people are gonna be praising you for your work because you're you're good at this and i i can't wait to see what's next it's gonna be very exciting to see what happens next not just for you but for for everyone in the film and i think especially for you it's just exciting to sort of think people feel like they've discovered something right oh my god we got we got a new guy right and that's that's i mean overwhelming i'm sure but also just just nice like it's nice for people you know everyone wants to talk to me okay that's that's different but yeah like you said it's just one step and you know it, it doesn't matter if the next thing isn't good right it doesn't matter if i don't make more stuff it has you have to continue doing it and I, I'm very excited to see what you do next. You should be so proud of this. So I, I think it'll be it'll be very exciting to see the next role and the role after that. Yeah, I just it's only one which I am waiting for. Exactly. Oh no, it'll be it'll be very cool to see what's next, and I uh, I can't wait. I'm very excited. So I thank you, thank you so much for for doing this. Nice to nice to talk with you again, and I I can't wait to see how the film does. Like I said, it's my favorite movie of the year. So. Every time it pops up at an award or a list, I, you know, I'm very excited and I, I'm, I'm predicting some, some more stuff for you coming up uh, this season. So prepare yourself. I think it'll be a good time. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. No way of knowing, but I, I have a good feeling about it. Thank you. Thank you so much again for doing this. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs>